Hey, it's Ancient and Jealous, and I'm coming at you with a new series of game videos that I like to call Angelicis. Uh, in Angelicis? Angelicis? Guilty Pleasure Corner. Or Angelicis. Whichever. But basically, these are games that. Uh, Why are we in a vampire ghetto after sunset? Be patient. Wait. Watch. Come on. This is the one we've been watching. Yep, we're doing this game. We have no use for a vampire in our ranks. This is a waste of time. Not vampire. Half vampire. Fewer weaknesses. She must defeat. <laughs> Place to feed. She's hunting, looking for her father. The Brimstone Society. The Brimstone Society needs her. We will extend the invitation. Time to go. Where is he, bitch? I just wanted to show that off. Uh, I always loved that intro. It's actually one of my favorite video game intros. It just it reminds me so much of Buffy and Angel. Um, anyway, yeah, so welcome to Angelus's Guilty Pleasure Corner, where I play games that aren't well received, whether it's for jank mechanics or people just not liking the overtly sexual content or whatever, but they're games that I enjoy. I mean, I, I, I'm not just staring at pictures of boobs here. I mean, these are decent games. This game actually is a lot of fun. Um, there's certain aspects of this game in particular that I find really excellent among all the Blood Rain titles. Because it, by the time the second one came out, they kind of made the game a little more linear. Uh, but, yeah, just, I had already beaten this like years ago. Um, so we'll just start with the beginning. Uh, I'm going to do normal considering I haven't played this game in years. Hopefully I can get back into the swing of things. Um, but yeah, let's, uh, let's check out why I like this game. All oh, right, the control scheme. Um, first person, yeah, first person kind of has a little more control. Third person has one stick just looking around, the other one moving. I, I like to have a little more control. I like the strafing. I find that helps me a lot. And 
who the hell would use aviation controls? I mean, come on. This is a, this is a third person game. It's it's not a flight sim. All right. There's a there's Jeebus and a busted up shack and an awful looking couch. Let's go then. Okay, yeah, there we go. Just testing out the controls. Du that was the double jump, by the way. They're, they're going to, air quotes, teach us that later. Okay, go walk on power lines. Yeah, because I'm not, uh, if I can't touch the water, if I touch the water, I get hurt. And they explain it. Let's check inside. Locked. Windows are blocked. Let's hope they didn't barricade the door from the inside. Okay. Yeah, this is where they teach us it. It looks way ridiculous in slow motion. But there seems to be a weak spot in the wall. Kindly make us a new door, Miss Rain. I'd like to investigate. Okay. Yeah, it, it looks way. I'm just checking to see if there's anything in here. Uh, it looks way ridiculous in slow motion. I don't know why they decide to do that. Tear it apart, Ray. Yeah, there we go. It's the best way to kill people. Not only does it kill them, but it Good. refills your health. Damn! Look at those jiggle physics. Um, Watch this. Yep, that's the top of his head. Would have been a little more effective if that kick looked like it actually landed. But... PS2, what are you going to do? They they had some of the best games on PS2. Blood rage, that's a very important mechanic. Blood loss satisfied? Not bad. Shh. There's one. They and jiggle when she just stands still. In the dark. It's amazing. Easy prey, if you want it. He's a big meal. Look how bright his aura is. He has no idea we're here. He's not panicking or hurt. This one's yours. Take him down or grab a bite to eat. Yeah. I already, I already kind of did this. I remember that button well, because... Here's the thing, I mean... Oh. Okay, that's Slash. Okay, yeah, those boxes at the top, those were where, be, those were where my guns would be. There's no reason not to be biting humanoids, though. Good girl. Good I, she didn't even do the work in her tits and jiggle. You tell me. Use your aura sense. Now, I remember this was kind of weird, because in order to turn on the aura, you had to hit one button on the directional pad, and in order to go back to normal, That's you had to hit here. another. Let's go to the church. If this was a more modern game, you'd hit the same button twice to enter and exit. But yes, uh, I actually do like this better than the second one. Even though I think the second one was a uh, a really good game. Oh god, I haven't played this since... since 2013? Is that what that means? Eh. Oh, I'll create a new one.
Damn bloodsuckers. Careful with your relatives. They should have more sense. Thanks for dragging me out here. I just love the water. You're only half a vampire. A dip might hurt, but it won't kill you. Sort of sticking a finger in my eye doesn't mean I have to do it. No time for pleasantries. Just like your half-sister. I'm just confident in my abilities. So am I. But this is your first assignment for the Brimstone Society. So everything must go according to plan. What do we know so far? Fine. The newspapers claim the people of Morton, Louisiana are turning into some type of monster. They're calling them mutates. Doctors think a new disease is the cause, so they quarantine the area. You make me proud. There are numerous known biological masses in town. They appear to be the carriers of the condition. And that's where you come in. Destroy the sources of the infection. And as many of the infected townspeople as possible. The disease cannot spread beyond this village. Sort of a radical cure, don't you think? You'll be doing them a favor. In the final stages, their brains liquefy and run out their nose and ears. Hell of a cold. One of the biological masses was found at the end of this road, in a graveyard behind the church. We'll meet up there. What's that mound by the telephone pole? Looks like a pile it? of pixels it to me. It is, it was, human. Might be remains from the final stages of the disease, but there's something not quite right about it. Let's check inside. Hmm, it seems like somebody made their last stand here. Grab some guns if you want. You know, it's funny. I always, I always used to think Mince's costume uh, looked like shit. I mean, really. Uh... Like, the whole headgear thing just looks so bizarre to me. Like, Reigns look per looks pretty cool. But Mince, for some reason, looks like she's, um... She works for, like, the KGB or something. That headgear. Alright, I'm just trying to get a feel for the controls. Okay, I... L1 is slash, R1 is fire, but since I don't have any guns on me... Okay. Good thing we're not hypersensitive to holy items like some vampires. You should be all set. I'm going to leaf through these documents. Maybe I can find something about past outbreaks of the disease. <sighs> Like that head darting. Mmm. <laughs> Monsters. Mmm. Guns. Alright. Uh, R2 switches. Special. Heavy. Lightest. I usually just keep the lightest on first because I, I usually. Actually, a lot of times I don't even waste my time with guns because the blades are just so much more effective. The guns are good for like bosses. Um. Let me see. Other settings. Oh god, that looks like crap. Now I know why I didn't touch that. You can also you double these guys as like human shields, it's kind of funny. Who's still firing on this guy? There's also no lock on, but that's fine, because considering she does like flurries with her blades. Alright, I gotta, uh, oh. Yeah, got stuck on the door.
That wall stretches across the whole town, 30 feet high. I can see that. So? From what I understood, even the earliest French settlers feared something in these swamps. Feared what? What's this? After our dark year, in 1873, the first stone of this great wall of fortitude was laid. With this black I hope she's a really pretty girl. Yay! Of our Lord, construction is complete. May this wall of fortitude, with the grace of God, shield us from evil and keep us safe, now and forever. Seems like they built that wall for nothing. I'm going to see what else I can find in those books. You should take out those biomasses. The first ones in the graveyard. I'll meet up with you later. I'm gonna sit here and read. You go take care of those monsters. Now there's um three major stage transitions in the game. Uh, like just completely different countries. I believe you you saw on the the save screen. Uh, Louisiana, um, Germany, no, 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 Louisiana, Argentina, and Germany. Um, Louisiana deals a little more with voodoo, but they're all connected. The other two stages have a lot to do with, like, um, hunting down particular Nazis. You... You're basically given a hit list and you run through the stage and take out the various people on said hit list. And I'll just keep it going on that one. And that's what I like about the game because it gives you options. You don't have to kill like people I mean, it kind of it kind of does force you to kill some people first, but there's really no particular order for a lot of the targets. You can go to different parts of the the uh, structures and kill different people first. Now Louisiana is a little different because it doesn't quite give you the hit list. It's just trying to show you the basic mechanics of the game. But I I love that. I love the freedom that um the game offers. Alright. What the? Is that the biomass? What the? Look like a pile of crap to me. Surprise, little bitch. And no, to answer a question, that was not the biomass. That was just a cluster of spiders. Oh, and considering, yeah, seeing I get hurt a little. Considering this is a PS2 game, expect a lot of just jank uh, in-game cutscene animations that are just hilarious. This is why I love her jump, because you can make very precise kind of, uh, kind of choices in your movement. You gotta, you gotta respect the concept of double jumps in games. They're, they're ridiculous. They make zero, they make zero sense, but they, when, you know, when a game's got them, it's usually great. It's a nest. Yep, that's a vagina. Alright, now blood rage, rage mode. Alright, you flurry, it just kicks and blade swipes and... And you just... The, the boss's health just melts away like it's nothing. And then if you hit the button again, you can save whatever you got left. Well done. Strange creatures, aren't they? The strange isn't the first word that comes to mind. What are they? I'm not sure, but it seems they carry a disease that causes mutations in humans. The mutates? Right. And remember those sludge mounds we've been finding everywhere? What about them? Humans. Oh, what's left of them. 
The spider creatures regurgitate what they eat. Strange doesn't even begin to cover it. Hello? 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 Somebody there? Open up. Is that Gambit? Is what gone? The Morais Wreck. Swamp Monster. That's what the Creole call the creatures. Are they gone? Yes, now open the door. Mon Dieu! Le Diable! Nice welcome for the rescue team. Who are you? I'm Jean Sigmund. I'm the grave digger. What happened here? I don't know. I hid in here when those, when those things came. They, they can't get in without them holes. Jean, you stay put. This place is obviously safe. We'll bring other survivors here. We not leaving? Hmm? Not yet. You'll be safe here for a while longer. Okay, okay. Send them here to find me a main mausoleum and we will. If you find anyone that is healthy and alive, send them here. <laughs> so I just, just slammed in his face. Seems like they oh. built that wall from How that hurt? I just hit my Maybe. <laughs> or maybe this uh. time around, things got worse. These creatures are very insect-like. Seems every 30 years they swarm. I almost forgot. I have something for you. Kind of slid down that uh, in the porch a little bit. It's essentially a harpoon. It helps with feeding and has a decent range. Thanks. I'll protect the mausoleum. You go find those nests. I sketched out a map of approximate locations. The reports weren't exact, so you'll have to search the area thoroughly. Once you're back, we'll head over that wall. There must be some type of source where all of these creatures come from. God, those... No wonder that guy was so nervous. Look in every building. Look in every room, upstairs and down. You need to find those nests. And no wonder that guy was so nervous. The whole time she was talking to him, her tits were just jiggling all over the place, in and out of this dimension. I mean, jeez, you know. Dead or alive, eat your heart out. Who need... Who needs Dead or Alive Extreme 3 when you got Blood Rain? <laughs> I'm just going to start quick saving. I don't know if that saves over the last save state or creates a new one, but... This is why this is important. Okay, let's see. There's one of them's in there. Actually need to feed. Is goofing around a little too much in there? Alright. Oh, good. Good. 
that was good timing. I get my hands on her. I make her eat her. Who? Marasa. Fonty's her step Marie la voodoo priestess. But what about her? She hook up with the old German who came here. She go out to both graveyard and she do plan. And she's responsible for this? We. Oui. She and the German. Scary. Hey. She said she going out there to raise the mother of the underworld. Must be one attractive lady. You better get going to the Brunel to main mausoleum. It's the only safe place in town. I will. Let's see. Let's get out of here. Perfect. Like I said, if you find a humanoid enemy, there's really no better way to kill because not only does that give you health, but using him as a human shield, like I did against that spider, that was. It was beautiful. Alright, let's see. You gotta, I gotta check for weak spots in walls, too. Oh, there it is. Okay. Yeah, it's it was kind of hard to see because it was the only it was the smallest little hole, but it was the only one that was see through. see anything from the angle I was at. Alright. Yeah, uh, eventually through the game you start learning new uh, new melee attacks and stuff like that. I mean, it's the same buttons. This is just a hack and slash kind of button masher type game, but uh, they are pretty cool to see. definitely in this one. Don't know if it's a biomass or just more survivors. Oh, there you go. Pop off. I mean, there's really no reason not to. Not only does it kill them, but it ensures they don't attack and it ensures other people don't attack you. Oh, please don't kill me. Go to the Famille Termain Mausoleum. You'll be safe there. Anything you say, just don't kill me. Miss. Please don't kill me. He's running around barefoot out there. Trust me, I'm not the one who's gonna end up killing him. Please don't kill me. That's just the direction I'm going. 
Please don't get me. This loading screen kind of gives you a tip on where to go, how to enter that building. I can already see the hole in that window. Let's see, quick save. Get a nice look at that juicy morsel I was eating. I mean, undead or not, I mean, I, I don't know if I'd want to take a bite out of something. Like that. There we go. Just a couple more shots to get it, but I got it. The quicker I get dispatched, the same the better, because they're kind of forcing me to fight it. And, uh... <laughs> Things' arms kind of remind me of like Krauser's arm from uh, Resident Evil 4. Which, by the way, incidentally, they are re-releasing on PS4. Can't wait to play that and 5. You know what I'd like? If you stop shooting me. I wish they all had that accent. That was pretty cool. Got that arm in his head off. I also like the like the subtle effect of the lightning bolts every so often. There we go. It's like an old courthouse. I haven't needed to use my guns once here. I think they might have expected you to try to use them for that last biomass, but there's no point. As, as much, as far as I can figure, there's only one boss that actually really requires you to use your guns. And that's good because the best part is not the gun, it's the hacking and the slashing. That's locked. That's the outside, so I open the door. Holy shit, I'm fighting the Kool-Aid man. He turned into a giant spider. Oh, there we go. Kool-Aid man showed me the way. Ah, die, you ugly son of a bitch. Oh. Easy with that thing. And who'd you call ugly? Excusez-moi. I, uh, I didn't mean to... Save it. Just go to the female to main mausoleum. You'll be safe there. <laughs> well, I don't think so. You see, I got it pretty good right here. Yeah. All the guns I need and... And it's only a matter of time before these things find a way in. I did. And what if your ammo runs out? Well, maybe you got a point, but... Take your gun and go. The Gravedigger's already there. It's the safest place for now. Gravedigger? Jean's alive? My brother-in-law? Don't All kill right, me I now. Go... <laughs> Excuse me, my manners. 
Adieu. Hold on there, mister. That'd be a deputy Gorham, Shane. Deputy Gorham, then. How about unlocking this thing? Ah, oui, bien sûr. So, so, so. Say, Feeny. Well, I'm off now. Later. I'll probably cut it here. Uh, yeah, so... Um... Yeah, that's, this has been Blood Rain Part 1. I'm uh, definitely making a Part 2. I'm gonna go through this whole game. I love this game. Um, you know, you'd think she'd advise him to take more than just the one gun. But I guess she just secretly wanted him to, uh... Uh... You know, leave all these guns so I can loot the place. It replaces, um your older weapons with better ones when you get them. But yeah, so, um, yeah, I'd be Rick grimes -ing it. I'd be just filling up duffel bags and taking as much as I could. Actually, this is technically probably the safest place. I mean, he's got the bars and everything, but how well to hell with him. Alright, I'll see you in the next part. Bye!